A hero. Oh, I've long prayed someone from the guild would come and... But I'm forgetting my manners. My name is Madame Minch. Welcome to the famous Darkwood Bordello. Please, walk with me. As you can see, the Bordello is a haven of calm and pleasure in a perilous world. Weapons and spells are forbidden here. Men have come here for centuries to escape their worries and responsibilities. But, well, we've got problems of our own. Mr. Grope, the current owner, he's what you might call a cruel, sadistic, self-absorbed despot. He treats the girls like slaves, little better than animals. Most of them have nowhere else to go, of course. If only we could find the Bordello Deeds. But I'm sure you don't want to hear all this. Please, enjoy your stay. Stay out of trouble. And you are... <gasps> it's you! Oh, my eyesight isn't what it used to be. I can't recognize my own girls half the time. Oh, welcome, valued customer. The name's Grope, and these here ladies belong to me. We are the finest entertainers in all Albion and cater to a wide variety of uh, <laughs> specialist tastes. <laughs> So long as you got the gold, you can sample as many wares as you like. And if any of them cause trouble, you be sure to let me know. One last thing. Watch out for old Madame over there. She's after the deeds to this place, and she'll try any dirty trick to get them. Oh, her massive red hair used to drive me wild when she was younger. But she's got all the sex appeal of a dead pig these days. So instead of making me spill my secrets in a bed, she's been trying to get me drunk. I nearly fell for it once, but she won't catch me again. I'm the boss, and that's the way it stays. But listen to me, prattling on. <laughs> These are my problems, yes. <laughs> go on, go, 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 go. Enjoy yourself, sir. Dark one. Um, uh, greetings. Welcome, hero. I am Lucretia. If you are looking for something a little more exotic, you'll find what you seek with me. Do I see a flicker of interest? You made the right decision. I just hope you can keep up with me. All paid up, I hope. We'll go ahead then. We've only got one bed, you know. That's it, hero. Mmm, that's the way. Just a little further. I have never serviced a hero before. It was... interesting. Me, Mistress Hedvig, you little puny man. Do what Hedvig say. But first, you pay Hedvig 2,000 gold, ya? Yeah? This way, puny worm. You no stop until Hedvig say stop. You call yourself men? This not good enough! Yes, better! Hedvig pleased with puny man. <laughs> this is good thing. Oh, you won't catch me going up to... Hello, love. I'm Polly. Used to call me pretty Polly, and now it's just Polly. A wild ride with me will only cost you 50 gold. Cheap at twice the price. What do you think? 
come along with me then, love. Don't be scared. You don't want to break anything, do you? Oh, that's better. You don't want to break anything, do you? Oh, yes, sir. Polly's still got it. Right, love? Well met, sir. I am Lady Sophia. I am here to entertain our more upmarket clients. I am not inexpensive, but you will find me most uncommon. I am the best. You'll be treated like a hero deserves to be. Come this way, sir. Mmm, that's good. I'm going to wrap myself around you like a velvet robe. Take me with you. You're not like the usual riffraff we get in here. You may see me again. Keep smiling, ladies. You're entertainers, remember. Well, hello there, hero. My name is Amelia, and I think I know exactly what you're looking for. All I need is the chance to show you. Don't worry. You'll see I'm worth every one of those 100 gold pieces. Again, again! Oh, that feels good. Mmm, hero. You look like you enjoyed that. Anytime you want a second taste, come and find me. You need more of my exotic touch? You made the right decision. I just hope you... Just a little fur. You need more... You may... in the art of love. I only have one question before I let you through. What's it like? You've got the deeds. Does that mean we're finally rid of old Grope? Oh, this is wonderful. What? Huh? How did you find it? It was perfectly hidden. This place meant everything to me. And now you've ruined it. Why, if you weren't quite such an imposing hero, I'd show you a thing or two. Well, I hope it rots and drops off. Well... 
I suppose that makes you the new proprietor then. Hedwig always makes more gold. Men go away happy with Hedwig. You want me to show you how? You not take advantage of Hedwig. You a good man. Or maybe scared man. I would not allow that filthy grope to touch me. But I don't suppose I can stop you. I might have fallen for a hero like you anyway. If things had been different. Shall we go upstairs then? I am surprised you didn't want to try me for yourself. Perhaps you are a man of real character. No, oh, sorry, I failed to get that. Oh, hello, sir. I suppose you're just like old Grope, aren't you? Thinking you can have us whenever you want. I guess I have no choice. Hmm, maybe you have more of a heart than I thought. But then why are you running this place? Oh, I think you take advantage sky. of me like Grope used to do. Clouds and so I guess some things never change. Really? You know, you don't have to use us to make money. This could be a much better place if you were to turn it into a refuge. Ooh. Hello, Governor. You want one for free, then? Being me boss and all. Funny that. Old Grope never wanted to go out with me, neither. You the scary one. Hello, sir. I've been speaking with the girls and... Well, we've had enough of this life. And now that old Grope is gone... I know it's a lot to ask, but... Perhaps you would consider turning this house into a refuge for fallen women? I see. The gold is more important to you than the lives of some poor women. I understand. Please tell me you've changed your mind. We've all led a hard life. We've suffered enough. Are you sure, sir? Once they've tasted freedom, my girls will never want to go back to being prostitutes. Oh, oh my, oh, oh. Um, girls, you don't have to work anymore. Be You're careful. free. We are very grateful to you. We're finding there is more to life than the lust that filled this house. Thank you, sir. My whole life has passed me by, but at least now I can enjoy some peace. <sighs> Hedvig, happy now. I, I had to drop out of school when I left home, but now I can get back to my studies. I've earned enough gold to buy my own place, but I don't know. This is my family, and here I can put the money to good use. Oh, you're the one who turned this house into a refuge. You truly are a hero. A true hero. 
Greetings, <sighs> your lordship. Once more we meet. <laughs> 